Despite passing storm spirits weren't dampened as crowds gathered and bands performed at Fairfest Sunday night. This is the second year that the three day music festival has been held in the heart of Fairfield. The feeling was remarkable in town. It was a great turnout. We had a great beverage garden and uh, we couldn't be more delighted uh, for a three day festival. Musicians of genres ranging from acoustic indie to reggae to jazz could be heard at the different stages set up. We are partnering with Fairfield Arts and Convention Center so that we have a complete uh, product. We have our outdoor stage, main stage, we have this facility inside so that when we have the main acts on, on the main stage, in between each act we have another uh, group inside the theater. Organizers of the event say that Fairfield has a big impact on the performances. This town's got a lot of colors in it and a lot of great musicians. To be able to feature national, regional, and local acts like this is just, it's a lot of fun. And despite the rainy conditions on Sunday, music lovers of all ages turned out for the events as well as for shows Friday and Saturday nights. We've had a great response this year. Uh, we had probably seven, 8,000 on Friday with a very special evening of music with Los Lobos, our headlining act, David Lindley. For the festival only being in its second year, organizers and volunteers say they couldn't be more pleased with the turnout over the past few nights. We were really delighted with the turnout here. A lot of people, even from Omaha, from St. Louis, from Minneapolis, telling us they're already booking next year's event. Fairfest 2015 is already planned for the third week of June. Reporting in Fairfield, Iowa, Ashley Hoke, KTVO News.